interesting, interesting things in the window. I, I'm kind of digging the pumpkin, kind of digging the pumpkin head. Look at these little strawberry, strawberry, apple, apple snack bowls. Why did I say strawberry? Why did strawberry even come out of my lips? I don't know. And look what's right in front of me. Look, look, and I have no hands. My hands are full. He's up to no good. Look at that side eye. He's like, he's doing something. I'm looking at the eyeballs over here though. Kind of digging the eyeballs. I don't know why. We can do it. We can totally do it. All right, so uh, stay tuned to see what we find inside. Let's get shop done. Interesting, interesting things in the window. I, I'm kind of digging the pumpkin, kind of digging the pumpkin head. 50% off yellow tags. Oh, excuse you. Why don't you, you just cut in front of me there. Just do it. Blue tags are 75% off. All right. Aw, cute puppy. Oh, they kind of have things set up up here, kind of a little vignette kind of thing going. Got a brass, brass camel. He is $19.99. Ooh. All right, brass camel, you're staying there. Oh, she's going straight for the clothes. Not me, not me. No time for clothes. He's cute. Ah, oh, he's broken. He's broken. Oh, my. Look at that cup. That's pretty cool, actually. I do want to do a Halloween sale in the near future. Just kind of got my eyes looking for some vintage Halloween. Things that I can use in that sale. Sorry, there is a fan right next to me here that's pretty loud. I don't know how that's coming through. Alright, let's see. What we got here, we got some animal carving. Ooh, their prices are a little bit on the high side. All right, all right. No can do it, $7.99. I usually pay in like the $2.99 range for a set of those. That's a Hallmark. Glassware. Pretty glass. Don't see anything here. Wow, $8.99 a piece on those. Goodness. Who makes you? Ivory Bone China Mikasa. Another one. Hmm. Hmm. Cobalt blue. It's a cute little, uh, little diorama. Not very well done. Not very well done, but it looks vintagey. See what else is on this side. I hope there's more hard goods other than this somewhere. Oh, here's a cool little uh, Lazy Susan server. I love the color, of course. This one's not marked. Usually they're like a California or a USA pottery, but it's not marked. It's kind of their purse section here. Hmm. Boy, that last Goodwill was so good that I'm having trouble with uh, adjusting to a store that's not so good. That's 
concrete structure. I'm trying to figure this out. It's, I mean, I see elephant brand. It's like a concrete bag purse. Is that what I'm, what am I seeing here? Oh, it's just an odd purse. Like it is. It's like a, and then it's got a, a wallet that goes with it. That's very strange and different. And I don't know if it's desirable different or if it's just strange and uh, nobody would be interested. I mean, the saving grace is it does have an elephant. I think orange had a discount. I don't know. I'm going to think about that one. I'm going to leave it here while I think about it. If it pulls me really hard, I'll come back and get it. But if it's not pulling me as I go through here, then it means I meant to leave it. And if you think I should have picked it up, you can tell me down in the comments. Or if you think I should have left it behind like I did, you can let me know that too. Who makes you inzy? Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can swing around here slowly. Don't want to make anybody dizzy. It's kind of a cute little... What is, what is going on with some of these purses here? What is this? Why is this? What is that for? Is it a camera? Is it a camera purse? I am so confused right now. All right, leaving it. Okay, I'm heading back here where I see more shelves of hard goods. And there's Jordan. She already found the shelves of hard goods and didn't even tell me. We've got elephant. Oh, that is really not good quality. These are interesting. They have, I always think of him as the low and brow lion, but I'm pretty sure those are not low and brow. It's just got the lion guy on it. Oh, goodness. All right. Copper bugs are $3.99 each. I feel like that might be a little high when you have that many. Unless they're like flying off the shelves, you know. Where is that? You always want to find that sweet spot of pricing if you're a retail store where, you know, stuff is selling because you priced it right, but not not cheating yourself. That's a Jerry Lee Minnie Mouse for $2.99. That's not a bad price and I think we'll pick her up. Now you may have noticed when we walked in we did not get a lucky cart. That because It's because there was no lucky carts to be had. So I'm going to have to hold on to everything I find at this point. That could make me a little pickier. All right, let's look down here. Oh my gosh, it's a Yoda. It's a Yoda snack dish. Are you seeing this? It's, Py it's Pyrex with Yoda. Oh my goodness. Uh, for $3.99. That just seems like a really good deal. Because it is, it's literally Pyrex. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that. Look at these little strawberry, strawberry, apple, apple snack bowls. Why did I say strawberry? Why did strawberry even come out of my lips? I don't know. I like the little unicorn mug, but it's $3.99 and I generally get 12 to 15 for those. So being away from home, I'm not going to pick it up. Whereas if I was home, I would probably pick that one up. Okay, nothing else up here. All right, we got to skip around a little bit because there are other people shopping. And normally I'll just kind of wait until they're done, but because our time is so limited, I'm gonna just jump to the aisles that don't have people and see what goodies there are. I have asked Jordan if she can go find us a cart. Okay, I'm gonna set this down so I can take a peek at this puzzle bottle. Look at this. Oh, oh. I'm afraid of having it all come apart on me. Oh, what does it say? Onophilia? It is $8.99 though. Oof. No, can't do it at $8.99, but it's very interesting. I would pick that up if it wasn't $8.99. Oops. 
Things are being dropped behind me. My goodness, the store has no air conditioning and it is very hot and stuffy in here. I am struggling just a little bit with the heat. Okay, now we can get to this row. I was on the other side. Things looked interesting, but uh, not really seeing anything worth picking up. I do want to look at this, what this pattern is, just because it's super pretty. It's a Grecian border number something. There's a mark. These are old. Definitely some old dishes. It's like a flow blue, but not an extreme flow blue. Really pretty. I don't know. If I was home, I might, I might pick that up. Let's see what we got here. Plastic stuff. And nothing exciting. This is their small appliances and lamps. I just see the cute little toucan lamp. Okay, let me see. How much are you? $7.99. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. He's not old or anything. He's a 2019 model. Hmm. I do kind of like him. All right. I think I'm going to grab him too. All right. Let's see. That's kind of cute. They used uh, license plates to make this little sign that says, keep trucking. Kind of a cool bottle. Oh, that's interesting. I really, really, really need a cart. I really, really hope Jordan can find a cart because I have no hands to explore anything. And look what's right in front of me. Look, look, and I have no hands. My hands are full with stuff. Somehow I have to get him, though, into my cart. No into my non-cart, into my bowl, into my stuff. And this guy I'm gonna buy to put in one of my live sales because I have plenty of this one for myself. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass some of these on to you guys. They're made by Indiana Glass and they're super cool. So I'll get him too. Oh wait, I gotta see how much he is. Okay, he was $3.99. So he is now down in the pile. I'm making a little pile on the floor right here until we figure out what to do. Hot water infusions and C. The water used with this should be boiling and the inhaler not more than half full. This is a non-functional replica. Okay, that makes me feel better that it is just a replica. And then there's this guy. Udeval. It's $4.99. What would he have held? Like what? He's up to no good. Look at that side eye. He's like, he's doing something. I was just going for that and she just snagged it right, right away from me. It's a mushroom, something. Is it a diffuser? Oh, no. Or is it just a light? It might be just a light. Yeah. Well, is that where the light comes out? Oh, wait, what does it say on the bottom? It says... Zimmy Vogue. I don't know. Probably came from the dollar store, you know. Let's flamingo. Let's not. This is kind of interesting. It reminds me of the little piece that I bought the other day. Oopsie. <laughs> Wasn't us. The little piece that I bought the other day that's like a, a strawberry without the top. It's like the same color, right? Yes. But this is Inarco. Oh man, $7.99. Can't do $7.99. Can't do $7.99. I mean, they do a 50% off color and they do all that, but I'm not gonna be here for that. Pineapple mold. It's kind of cool. Let's 
see what else. Oh, and then a Precious Moments camel. He's really cute. Oh, I see a very, very cheap pig. This is signed by Lee Neal. It's a little cat. Reflections, Bay Life Art. It's $5.99. Was green one of the discount colors? I don't remember either, but I do kind of like He almost looks like Dozer. He's not fat enough. He's not hairy enough either. Dozer's really hairy. I kind of like this. I'm thinking it's got a discount. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in our pile too. I see fish. Are these napkin rings? They are napkin rings. But they went $9. Yeesh. I can't. I can't do $9. They're probably only like a 15 to 20 sale. So that's too much for me. That's a that's collector price. Oh, how cute he is! You keep seeing those here. Hmm. Oh, I see something on the other side. I got to get over to. This should be here. What's that? Happy anniversary. Ooh. Oopsie. Leah, Rena, Gore. Oh, hello. Anthropology. Uh, $4.99 for that. We will certainly pick that up. Oh, I see a an enemy. It's probably like a party light or something. It's not not super detailed or anything. So we'll leave that. Oh, little shell owl. Ooh, who are these little guys? What is their purpose in life? This is only 99 cents with the little birds on it. I feel like Rachel might steal this from me, but I'm going to pick it up anyway. Fine porcelain. Hmm. More napkin rings. Hmm. Goodness. What's up here? Some little dog ornaments. Hmm. There's three little dogs in there. Do we need those? I feel like I don't need to pick those up right now. I do have to look at the horses though. $3.99. They do look older. I think I am going to pick up the horses for $3.99 each. Look at this little guy. He's a little nodder head. Fishing trip. Savings. That's a very broken Minecraft guy. Estonia. Hmm. Why am I just drawn to these big, chunky candle holders lately? I think I'm going to leave them, but I do like them. Oh, is this a sand? It's a jar candle holder, apparently. A whole sand painting. Very pretty. Oh, yay, she got us a cart. Hallelujah. I was struggling. I'm going to leave this. It's, a, it's really heavy. With that much sand, it's super heavy. That's my little pile on the floor right there now, too. Well, I had to. You weren't here. You left me. You abandoned me. But then you came back with a cart, so it's okay. What is this? Oh, they're butterflies. Oh, they look like cedar. They look like cedar butterfly bookends for $6.99. I really, really like those. Grabbing those too. Here we go. Do we need some ghosts to hang from the. I thought about it. I thought about it. They're awful cute. I like this guy better. I mean, as cute as ghosts can be. I don't know where I would hang it. Oh, she doesn't know where she'd hang it. Wait, what? Oh, he's really cute. 
I'm looking at the eyeballs over here though. Kind of digging the eyeballs. I don't know why. I like them. Does, uh, does Daisy need a little hat? Oh, Daisy has a little hat, she says. All right, all right, what did we miss? I'm gonna look at the plushies real quick. Let's see what we can find in the matter of the next, like, two minutes. That's Bubba. Anything and, oh, what are you? What are, you're a, uh, something, Hoda, Hannah, Zuki? I feel like you might be good. Is this good? Do we know this? Hannah Zuki something? Is it like an anime thing? I don't know. There's a bunch of them actually, but they're $4 each. $4 each. And I can't remember exactly which colors are discounted and with very little time left. Oh, oh my. Oh my, he's really stained. Okay, no, I'm gonna, it pains me, but I'm gonna leave you. What are you guys? There's two of you too. Baby first, I don't know. Oh, he talks, he does something, and he does something. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm having to hurry so much. I just feel like I'm having to hurry. It's a Dumbo. I just bought a Dumbo. How much is he? Depends how much he is. See, $6.99 they went for him. And the Dumbos only bring like 10 to 12 now. I do. Oh, I do like him though. See, this, this is a little more rare than a Dumbo. You don't see a lot of the uh, Pirate of the Caribbean's parrots. Is he a Pirate of the Caribbean? Or I believe so. Oh, or is he some new show? It doesn't say. But you know what? I believe he's on sale. But even at five, let go, let go, my parrot. Five ninety nine. I'll still pick him up. You need a donut? No, but I think you need a pirate Mickey to go with your pirate. Oh, is there a pirate Mickey to go with the pirate parrot? He's only three ninety nine. Okay, we'll get pirate Mickey. You can grab him. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark Jordan. Jordan I found poo on the shelf I see poo Well there's Tigger too There's Tigger too So it looks like they've separated out like some of their blue tag items that are on sale 75% off so I'm kind of just digging up here a little bit to see there's anything we should be grabbing but I don't see anything oh these guys are inside of a case but I wonder how much they are I'm gonna have to ask on those guys okay I'm up in a little window area up here these I don't think are the old ones these are newer like dollar store ones yeah Hmm, what's this guy? Like a dancing skeleton, but I have a feeling he is missing something that makes him go. Let's see. Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah, we gotta get him. It is $20 for the pair, but these do really, really well. And it's also crossover. It isn't just, you know, the, the people who collect the Day of the Dead figures, but this is kind of a Halloween crossover kind of thing too. So picking those up. There's some more stuff up here. So we got confused on our tags that are on sale and not. So I don't even know how we're ending up with sale items or not, but that's okay. I think this is flower. This is Disney flower. I'm pretty sure. It's pretty scratched up eyes though. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, that makes it tough to sell to a collector. They want them in like perfect condition. Oh my gosh, look at these little baby shoes. Is this a Coco Joe? No, it's too lightweight. It's resin, not lava. 
<laughs> and I found another case to look in. There's just stuff everywhere here. Definitely would need more time to really get through this store. I'm not even sure you're seeing anything off the glare. My apologies. American Girl. Mm. Just so much stuff here. Oh, wait. It's another little windowy area over here. Every time I turn around, there's like another little area that's got stuff. All right, I found it. I also found a cool pair of shoes for me. They are my size. I like them. They are very cute. And then, of course, Jordan added a few things to the pile. I'm not even sure what she added to the pile. I'm, I'm told don't worry about it, but he's really, really cute. I do like him. I don't know. He might have to end up in my suitcase. No, no. Yeah, he's a candle. He's a candle. He stays with her. All right. All right. Not a bad little store. The prices were a little interesting on some things. So sometimes I will pay a little bit more for one thing because I paid a lot less than I would have on another thing. And it all, oh, that sun's bright. It kind of, oh, I can't see. I can't see either. Um, there we go. It kind of balances out everything. So like on the uh, those Day of the Dead figures, 20, not what I really would want to pay, but I don't find them that often. And I know that they are super popular. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to make anybody car sick as we are on our way. We're, we're literally, it's like right down the street is another store. So we're heading there. So this video doesn't end yet. We are going to head into the Salvation Army really quick because they close in 40 minutes and we're going to see if they have anything good for us to uh, buy and resell or decorate the house which is part of what this little journey is all about too all right we'll see you inside let's get shop done so this one is actually like it's two stores store over there store over here this side looks like it's hard goods and furniture so we are headed over here first and oh they have some carts i guess we can grab this little cart right here let's go see what we can find i see some horses is it it's cut but it's not american brilliant cut it's not sharp enough okay nice chairs there's a whole little wall of art i'm just gonna stand back here and observe the, uh, is that a guinea pig? Is it a guinea? Is it a cooking guinea pig? What? Come on. You know I gotta have the cooking guinea pig. Let's see, it looks like they're $3.99. I'll probably get the bunny to go with them too. All right, we're skimming through the plastics for sure. No time to mess with plastics. We'll look at some of these little end caps here. Not quite sure what that's about. Mm -hmm. I think this is a Mikasa pattern, but I'm not exactly sure. Interesting little shape to it. Oh, and a whimsical birdhouse. Ooh, we are right underneath a speaker that is really loud. Look at this cute little Christmas tree shelf sitter. For $1.99, I gotta get him, he's too cute. Oh goodness, that is very, very loud. Let's move away from that. Oh, is that Mickey Mouse? It is. It is a, they call this melted plastic. Hmm. He's not that great. He's not that great. I'm gonna leave him. I am going to leave him. Maybe if I was home. I might grab them, but I don't need to just fill space, the very limited space that I have with things that I really, really don't need. Sometimes, you know, I'm saying that out loud to tell myself to I have a little trouble sometimes leaving stuff behind, as you know, if you watch me, but I'm getting better. Look how cute she is. Broom rides, 25 cents. Look at this cat. Look at his face. Wow. Do I need that? I feel like I kind of need that for my, uh, oh, no, wait, oh, she got a broken foot. Okay, I don't need you that bad, Mama. You got a broken foot. This guy's kind of creepy. All right. Oh, look at this with the little nest. Oh, 
That looks like one of those dinosaur eggs you crack into. Okay, we've got a lot of office supply stuff. That's not really what I'm looking for on this trip. Huh, there's some more marble pieces of fruit. Four dollars each though. So I will leave those. Oh, but hello, Cardinal Birdie candle holder. I do like you. Oh, you're five ninety nine though. Five ninety nine. That's a little too much. Too much for me. All right. A little bit of a mess down here to work around. Oh, he's super cute. Hmm. Oh, these are those planet glasses. If you get the whole set, these do quite well. Candles. Let's see. Progressive collection says. Oh, I thought those were wood. They're not. They're metal. Kind of cool. Hmm. Hobby pieces. All right. What do we got here? Fresh baked with love, heartfelt wishes, sweet things in life. Nothing? Not finding nothing? Are you bored? She's tired. She's ready to be done shopping. This is it. This is our last stop for the day. And we're going to go home. It's my last night in San Diego for this trip. And we're just going to go put our feet up and relax. Because you know what, right? I almost called you Rachel. You know what, Jordan? What? All you need is love and a bottle of wine. That's cute. Look at that. Oh. Sunflower. Little holder thingy. $5.99. I really like that. I feel like I might even use that to put my keys on. So I don't lose them. I kind of feel like I might. I, I, I don't know if it'll fit in my suitcase this time, but I like this for $5.99. Hmm. Bloom. Oh, Doggy cookie jar. I'm not big on selling cookie jars though, because they're so big and bulky, and they generally, there's very few that bring enough money to make that shipping hassle factor worthwhile. For me, anyway. Oh, that's a case to a video that looks like it's been taken out of the case. Uh, let's see. Oh, they just announced 15 minutes left. We've got 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, look at all of the fan snack dishes. Daisy and Button fan snack dishes. Oh, that's a lot. I think that's the most I've ever seen in one spot. Oh, this looks like my mom's dog. That sure does look like Lucky. Pretty redware, terracotta bowl, but it is very chipped. All right, we're having to do a little speed shopping. 15 minutes goes really fast. <gasps> Look at that teapot. Ooh, that's pretty fantastic. Something Lauren, $7.99. Isn't that beautiful? It's kind of beautiful, kind of different. Is it chips? I don't think so. Oh, looks like watercolors. I'm really attracted to that. Must have. Oh, let's see. Can't read. Goodness, they put the thing right over the tag. Stand by. Actually, I meant they put the tag right over the mark. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. I still can't see who it is. I don't think it's anything super expensive. Oh, anything else? Little apple dish is cute. It's just like a little target piece. All right. I think this is to hold a salt and pepper set, but I don't know what salt and pepper set would go on there. This is kind of cool, but it the lid the lid doesn't even fit on there, right? 
Oh, look at these guys. Little hobby pieces. All right. Oh, we're going to have to skim through this section really quick. Goodness gracious, there's so much to see here in so little time. That's very chintzy. Ooh, for sale, sold, realty. Ben something Italy. She's a little interesting. I know, I, yeah, I'm just, she does not spark joy in me though. She's just a little on the odd side. Can't help it guys, can't help it. I can't buy it all. I like them, but again, not super high resale value and I'm trying, trying my best to raise my sights and be smarter about my business. $7.99 on that piece. I like it. I don't need it. I wish this wasn't so faded out. This little black glass vase. Jordan is running over to the other building just to check it out, see what it's all about, because that side's gonna close too. So it's the only chance. How cute are you? 1986 Morgan Inc. Anesco. Little lamb. Music box. Oh, it is working. Oh, how much are you? $5.99. That's really sweet. I'm gonna get it. Let's see, anything standing out? It's got a really call to me on this trip because I'm going much faster than usual. And I know that because I'm kind of in my brain in a hurry, I could definitely miss things. So I'm just waiting for something to speak to me and nothing's really calling me on this side. And we've got cups and mugs galore. Holy moly. Let's see what else calls to me over on this side. Hmm? Nothing really. These are kind of cool. I can already, like, they're too big for me to deal with and take home. But these Alaska oversized cups are quite interesting. We got some shell pattern American. I'm not even going to try to say it because I get corrected every time I say it wrong. So it's that American and then that French word. <laughs> I'm just going to play it safe. And I probably will still have people telling me how to pronounce it now down in the comments. It's all good. It's all good. I'm a better reader than I am a speak it out louder. And sometimes I say things that are not grammatically correct, but you know what? That's just fun for me. It's fun. It's fun because I know the correct way to say it. That's the whole point. I'm saying it purposely wrong just to be wacky. He's super cute. Single glass though. Oh, one more little end cap. Oh, that's a candle. No candles. Nope, don't see anything there. Did I look at this one? I feel like I didn't. I feel like I missed this one, which didn't matter because there's nothing there. And I'm feeling like I might have missed this row somehow. I don't remember going down. Maybe I did and I'm just losing my mind, but I don't, I don't remember going down this row. No, nope, didn't matter. Nothing here. Quick peek through the lamp. This has a Mackenzie Child's kind of a look to it. I don't believe it is. And it just, I don't know, even the Mackenzie Child stuff doesn't really excite me. It's kind of sloppy. The sloppiness kind of bugs me. What are these? These have got a little Ikea pendant lights. Kind of cute. All right, I think we are headed to check out. They want to close this place up, so I don't want to be the last one here and making them take their time. All right, so stay tuned for the recap from both of the last two stores I did, I did, did, did. And uh, I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. Stay tuned for that coming up right now.
completes a weekend of shopping in San Diego. That was the last stop. My next destination is back to Las Vegas and back to the normal routine. Whatever that is at this point in the move. <laughs> it's not really quite normal yet, but we're getting there. Ah, so we're gonna go home, do a little relaxing and just enjoying this last evening in San Diego. Well, she's she's staying in San Diego. She'll be enjoying the San Diego weather and everything for quite some time. Quite some time now. You got some cute things too. I did, I'm excited. I'm excited to go unpack everything and yeah. remember what I bought. And remember what you bought. I know, isn't that funny? I'll have to get home and remember what I bought too. So Next time I come out here, it will be for a little bit longer. It won't be so rushed through everything, but now we found some really good spots to shop too. So with that, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you know when I upload those new videos and uh, you go be profitable and stay classy, San Diego. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, well, this is it last little peek at the ocean before I get on an airplane. I kind of hate this part. I hate the leaving part. And I had to leave a lot of stuff behind. So <laughs> I did not buy a big enough suitcase, um, nor did I realize just how much stuff I bought. So there's a lot of stuff staying here until I drive back out in October, which is the plan. The plan is to start coming out here a lot more often. Uh, so... I kind of get used to leaving stuff behind, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, so, yep. Going to go uh, get on my little airplane and get myself back to my house. I'm on the plane. I made it. I just barely made it because TSA once again had to open up my suitcase and look at what I had in there. I have those Lalique candle holders. And of course, they couldn't just open one. They had to open and completely unwrap them both. So I had to get them all packaged back up and safely in the suitcase. But we made it, we're on the plane, we're heading home. back in my car but I was thinking as I was walking back to my car lugging my suitcases really I was grateful to be on the ground again but thinking you know I hear a lot a lot a lot uh, people getting into e-commerce people starting their own reselling business there's things they're afraid of 
There's things they just don't like doing. There's things that hold them back from growing and building their business because of either dislikes or fears. And I was thinking, there is nothing I hate more than getting on an airplane. All right, except maybe scorpions. I think the scorpions qualify for hating more. But <laughs> uh, getting on an airplane is right up there, like with the like worst things for me. And I think about it and I'm like, but I can't have the reward unless I go through the pain, unless I go through the, the discomfort, the fear, the anxiety, the like, whatever that is for you. You can't have the good thing on the other side unless you plow through the thing that's making you not want to do it. So we live that like every day with stuff. And some people choose to just put that stuff off, not do it, still stay stuck in that fear or that discomfort or whatever it is. And if you can recognize that and just, I'm telling you, sometimes it is just plowing your way through it. Sometimes it is just forcing yourself to do something you absolutely hate because you know the reward on the other side is so good. In this case, wouldn't have been able to get a weekend away and go visit with my daughter. And I certainly wouldn't have been able to get home had I not got back on the plane. So I hope you will take that little bit of encouragement to think about the next time something's holding you back out of discomfort or fear. And think about, can I just get through this? Can I just get through this part? so I can get to the good parts. Mm -hmm.